started Boba Flex in 1998 and had a couple lineup changes and then finally got back about 2000. We got back to the guys that we had been playing with since we were kids and, and got really serious and, and things really started happening for us in about 2000. Nice. And uh, been great. It's been a blast. Just family. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think out of 10 years of us being together, we've been in one drunk argument. <laughs> that's, that's that's astonishing. That's amazing. Yeah, that, that is. is. Fault, really. It's a... Uh, how you know people bring you free alcohol and sometimes drink too much of it yeah now I, I you know everybody gets along really really well and it's, it's been a blast and then to see the you know the band get bigger and the crowds get bigger and stuff like that it's just, it just feels really nice to that's a, our little band from west virginia has built something like that nice stuff on the new album is called hell in my heart hell in my heart yeah and the hit single you're hoping is to be bury me with my guns on has hit 38 on the charts. Um, it's slowing down a little bit now, but uh, just the fact that it went to 38 on the charts without a label and has changed our lives as far That's as nice. draw and everything. And, uh, you know, we, went to, we were in Boise, Idaho, never been there before, and there's 1,800 kids waiting to see us play and all that kind of shit. So that's going really well. And um, we're getting ready to do another single in January. Uh, we're not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but we got two candidates, uh, two of the singles that we're kind of back and forth on. But um, like I said, we Which we, would be? Uh, either Chemical Valley or Sound of Silence, which is a cover. Which is, it's definitely going to be a single. I don't know if it's going to be Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be the second single. Chemical but Valley Rocks. Chemical Valley Rocks? I agree. I agree. We've had some, uh, we've talked to some radio guys, and it's a different kind of track, and they said, you know, it's got that, it's, it's a gamble because it doesn't really sound like anything that's at radio, which I think is a good thing. That's a great thing. I'm that's so exactly what we need. Yeah, I'm so tired of everything sounding exactly the same. Who's this band? I don't know. Sounds like yep. the last band. Whatever. So, um, well, it, that's the shame about, the, I think, you know, a lot of the big record labels fuck their selves. Yeah. Honestly, because Guns N' Roses hit, and okay, look, we're going to find 40,000 Guns N' Roses and throw them out there. No, I don't want, I like Guns N' Roses. Right, I just right. want the one yeah. Guns N' Roses. Same Give me something else. It's like Nickelback, uh -huh. there's, there's only one Nickelback. Exactly. And they're fucking great at what they do. Exactly. And they're, they're you know, in the future, we're going to find out that they're, you know, the Led Zeppelin of our time. I know that people don't like Nickelback. And, I love Nickelback. Right, I mean, right. I, I don't but have You know, they, they're fucking rock gods for the last 10 years. I have and, a mixed opinion about them, but I will agree that dude is a hit writing machine. He's a hit writing machine, and I, I saw him live a couple times. And we, we were live, they're tremendous. Oh, my yeah. God. They were fucking, fucking awesome live. Yeah, super and, live. You know, and, and they are unreal at what they do. Well, then the record labels turn around and try to sign a fucking million Nickelbacks. And it's like, all right, yeah. great. Yeah. You know, whatever. It's not, a, and everyone's like, well, active rock radio is dying. It's like, they make the fucking same mistakes. You know, trying to, everything sounds the same. And it's, you know, it blew me away when System of a Down came out and sold 30 million records. And then the record labels turned right back around and started signing bands that, that you know, yeah. weren't cutting edge and, and doing something new. They were signing. 500 sound. different disturbs came out. Too. Right, right, right. And it's Same, just, yeah, it's just it, it's aggravating, and I hate with normal radio. They don't take chances. You know, on well, you, you, they, they a they don't take a chance, and b you hear the same shit over and over and over. Back when I can't drive 55 was a hit. You could not change it from station to station to station. Yeah. Three different stations down oh, yeah. here, and that son of a bitch was on constantly. Yeah, song, yeah. Like the song, it's great for love the Sammy Hagar. But man, I never want There's to hear some that really, song. Really Even good to this stations. day, I don't want to hear it no There's more. There's some really good stations out there. Um, the Blitz in Columbus, Ohio. They do that's whatever. where I'm from. Yeah, that, so I live there now. Do you? Yeah, that's oh nice. yeah. Um, they've been great to us. Uh, 98 Rock in Tampa, Madison, Wisconsin, out in uh, the JJO in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, Boise, Idaho station. Uh, you know, there's stations out there that still that get it, and still do what they yeah. want. And, you know, and, and, and they've been really good to us. And, and they have... You know, when they throw a free show or they throw a big show, they have really loyal listeners and stuff like that. And, and uh, you know, they're still out there. It's favorite club there. in the country to play at? Uh, Absolute favorite. Al Rusty Viva, Columbus, Ohio. Love One of that my favorite place. places is where we came up at. Um, you know, there's a lot of history there. A lot of some things went on there. You know, everybody Dying, knows. Absolutely, yeah, everybody, everybody knows, knows what, what happened, happened there. That's a horrible and shame. We have yeah. a lot of family there, and, and uh, it was one of the places that that. We, that we were able to go to draw a crowd, make money, go off to other towns, and it was our little central hub. That and it was an actual scene. It's the first time I'd been. Like I remember coming from West Virginia to Columbus, Ohio, and like, holy shit, they have a PA that's built into the club. Right. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It blew me away. And, it was, <laughs> and so lights and everything yeah. and a stage too. Yeah, there's people here with earrings in their face and shit. Oh, what is this place? 
and thought it was awesome. And, and it's just one of those places that, if it wasn't for Columbus, Ohio, and it wasn't for the Alvarez Vila and the Blitz, then I don't know if we'd have been able to do what we've been able to do for the last, you know, eight yeah. years. It's just one of those places that just, it's, you know, it's, it's in our blood. Where did you record the new album at? Um, we did uh, five songs in Detroit um, with a good friend of mine named Chuck Alcazian at Pearl Sound Studios. Um, and then we did uh, the rest of the songs in Columbus, Ohio um, with a good friend of mine by the name of Joe Beers mm -hmm. and Sonic Lounge Studios. Uh, it's actually in Grove City, Ohio, which is right outside. I know where Grove yeah. City is. Oh, yeah, you do. Westerville. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right on. But uh, the new record, we did it all. We funded it ourselves and, and picked uh, picked these producers to help us out. And, and nice. it's my favorite record that we've done so far. It's What's your favorite track off the... Uh, I don't know. It's I know hard. It sounds lame, but, man, I listen to it all the time. I love it. That's favorite track to play live. Favorite track to play live. Um, probably Bury Me With My Guns because a lot of people really do know that song and they sing yeah. back. Um, Home, the song Home that we had, it's not on this new record, but it was on the last five song EP that we did. It was on our record Tales From Dirt Town. And it did really well at radio and so people really know that song. And then the Sound of Silence song. I mean, people just, what the fuck? You know, when we play that song, people are like, where did that come from? So I really like that song. That song kind of, get the older guys in the club like, eh, I don't know if I like your band, and you play that song, they buy a record, and everybody's happy. Yeah. So I, I, we all switch too, we all, uh, I'll, I'll sing lead on songs, my bass player will sing lead on songs, my brother will sing lead on songs, so just playing live, there's at least four or five times in a set I can't wait, like here comes the switch, here comes right. this, here comes that, so here I don't know, comes. I like to play the whole set, Good. love it. That's cool. Beginning to end, it's a blast. I'm in my favorite band, love this band so much. I've been playing in it long enough. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I like was it. Was there lot. ever a song that you had to play where you were like, oh, turn damn, the heat I don't up. want to play this song again? Turn the heat up. It was one of the songs we wrote years and years ago. And it's uh, just a silly song, and, and people love it. And I mean, we were in New Mexico one time, and there was a dude laying in the street when we got there, piss all over him, drunk as hell. He's obviously a homeless guy. And I got out of the van, and he, he raised up, moved his little box, and said, you're that band that plays Turn the Heat Up. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> no. I mean, that's why, a is it, why is it always Makes you like want to call home, Mom, we've made it never now. Never expected right, right, calls, right. calls you out on that. You I mean, it was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you fucking serious? But yeah. I, got, I got called out by the drunkest guy in the bar who came up and said, I want to hear something from you. Right, you're right. In. The, always the drunkest guy in the bar, too. It was, it's always the weird people you never expect that call you out on stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. It was a, <clears throat> that's a true story. I remember I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the song's never going away. Right. Never be able to live it now. Never. What do you guys got coming up in the immediate future? Um, we're, we're out on tour for the rest of November. We head out in December with a good friend of ours by the name of X Factor One. We're a really hard working band. You should check them out. Really good band. Uh, so have them send us their stuff. Yeah, we'll do, put it they're on. doing it all on their own. They're really doing so, it. Have them send it to us. We'll put them on immediately. I mean, they they'll go to all the festivals and sell records. And I mean, they're really doing the grassroots thing and they're kicking nice. ass at it. Great band. We're going out with them in December, and then we head out January and February with uh, an unbelievable band by the name of Royal Bliss. You ever heard of those guys? Mm -hmm. Oh God, they're awesome. We head out with them January and February and, and do the the second annual Woe Flex Royal Bliss Winter Tour, and. Uh, nice. Uh, Have them send us their stuff as well. Awesome. They're really we'll good. Band. And uh, so far, we're booked up till about February. And then we're looking to go out with a, uh, another, uh, a larger band. You know what I mean? The headlining thing's great, but I want to go and play with like Seven Dust or Papa Roach or something yeah. like that. <laughs> get back in with the, the, yeah. the arenas and yeah, bigger, get back bigger in with really, really big shows and, and do a 30 minute set and kick ass, take names, get drunk, go home. Be awesome. Sell lots of merch. Yep. Yep. Nice. Oh yeah, so uh, what do we got on the set list tonight? What are we going to kick off the show with? It's Chemical Valley. Chemical Valley. Greatest opening song of all time. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be a good set list. Um, we're doing doing a bunch of, we'll play about an hour and a half tonight. Uh, do, uh, just, I'll, I'm just, like I said, I, I love the record, doing all my favorite songs. And it's going to be a good show. It'll be a really Super. good show. Super cool. Looking forward to it. Yep. We'll cut it's it with that. It's a very sexual show. Cool. There you go. Hopefully there'll be a lot of Thank women you. here. Right. 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 All right, if I can get one thing up. real quick. Yes, sir. This is Rob, and I'm Rob, and we're talking to Marty from Bubba Flex. Sweet.